tracing. To write to a variable, you put its name on the left side of an assignment statement. To read from a variable, you simply use its name. Notice that assignment statements use a single equal sign. We mentioned before that the equality operator uses two equal signs. They may appear to be visually similar, but they are distinct. Assignment statements update the value in a variable, while equality operators ask a question about values. Variables have a lifetime. At some point in the program, they are initialized, and then later on, they are used. At any given time, you can ask what the value of a variable is and change it. In the program shown here, the variable has a different value each time it is printed because of the assignment statements. A variable cannot be read until it has been written. If you attempt to read an unwritten variable, an error will occur. Make sure that any time you are reading a variable, make sure you have an assignment statement preceding it. We often want to increase or decrease a variable by a variable. For instance, when we're counting the number of things in a list, we need to add one to an existing variable. In the code shown here, we have a variable on the left hand and right hand side of the assignment statement. This really highlights the difference between math and computing. In algebra, it would have been impossible to write that statement because you were solving for the variable. But in computing, you are assigning to the variable. You are overwriting whatever was there before. That's why you should read this statement starting from the right-hand side first. The expression literally means evaluate the expression on the right and update the variable on the left with the result. It is often useful to track the value of variables over time. We call this tracing a variable. Although the computer only keeps track of the latest state of the variables, we humans want to think about the entire lifetime of the variables. Often to debug a program, we will write down the name of each variable on a piece of paper. Then we check each line of the program one at a time, writing down the variable's value next to its name whenever the variable is assigned. If the variable already has a value, we cross out the value and replace it with a new value. The first time a variable is written to, we say that the variable has been initialized or created. Any time after that, Writing to the variable is referred to as being updated or changed. Besides reading and writing, there are many other words. You should get a sense of the different ways we refer to variables.